hello all and welcome back to another video today we are doing shrimp po boys my way my way my way so here's all the ingredients that you will need now you will see me um just about to season up the shrimp you can use the seasoning of your choice i'm choosing um like a creole i want it to go like a cajun i want it like a cajun flair i wanted to season my shrimp with a cajun seasoning to kind of complement that cajun louisiana breading that i'm gonna use so here is all of the seasonings that i'm using and, I, and then i'm going light too because don't forget that um louisiana fish batter has seasoning in it so you just want to take it easy but i do want quite a bit of mustard because mustard and seafood, I can't explain it. Again, it's something that I can't explain. It just does something for seafood. I don't know what it is. I'm going to add a um, splash of hot sauce in this. And now we just going to take our nice clean hands and we go toss it up. Toss it up. Let me see you toss it up. Toss it, toss it, toss it. And you know what? Midway through me tossing this... I noticed I forgot to pluck off the tails so right here you will see me just showing whoever doesn't know how how to um, pluck off some tails off of the shrimp because when you eat in a po' boy you you want to bite right through that thing you don't want to bite into it and then you know you don't want to have to grab a shrimp you just don't want no tails Put it like that. You don't want no tails on your uh, in, on your po' boy sandwich. You want all meat. So, right here I'm just showing y'all how to pluck it. And I chose to go with the already pre-cooked um, pink shrimp. I mean, you could go with the raw ones. You could use whatever kind of shrimp that you like. I just went with the raw pink ones because I wanted to cut down the cooking time. And here you'll see me putting them in a fryer. You're only going to need, because they're already pre-cooked, literally two minutes. Like, literally. Like, if even that, be careful. Because you don't want to overcook them. So, I'm going to cook these. I'm probably going to fry these for maybe about two minutes, three minutes tops. You don't want to overcook them at this point. You want a soft nice tender fender bender bite real nice and soft bite so just be easy on how long you leave them in the fryer but some people might like to cook they shrimp you might want to cook your cooked shrimp for 10 minutes you might like them things like like extra 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 crispy listen do your thing sis do your do what you gotta do do what you got to do because you know what at the end of the day you have to eat this sandwich nobody else do what you have to do so now i'm just layering in not layering in but laying my shrimp in some hot grease i'm gonna give it a nice bath in this hot oil Now, it's time to take them things out. We done cooked them up for about two to three minutes. They nice and crispy. They nice and golden brown. They are beautiful. So now, you just want to take them things out. Rest them on a cooking rack. Let all that grease drain off. And you good to go.
Now we can move on to the next step, which is really, really simple. I got my packaged coleslaw. I mean, you could dice up a uh, raw cabbage and carrots if you want to. Um, I wasn't doing that tonight. I'm trying to get to grubbing, so I used the packaged coleslaw. And this is like the best coleslaw mix to use when you are in a lazy cooking mood like me. So I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of that Marie's. Um, coleslaw mix on there and I did not want to use a lot because I still want a nice I didn't want my coleslaw too soggy because at the end I'm gonna sprinkle like a spicy mayo that I made over it so I really didn't want like a soggy sandwich I wanted some crispy shrimp a nice bite on that coleslaw and then I'm just gonna drizzle that uh, spicy mayo right on there which is just go that's going to set it off. That's going to set it off right there. Now you just want to get you some butter. Because like I always say, butter makes everything better. So, you want to get your butter on there. Because you want to toast you a nice bun. You want to toast that hoagie. Look at our nice toasted hoagie bun. Perfect. Perfect. Check it out. Check it out. So now you know what time it is. It's just time to layer. It's time to layer. You go put your nice golden brown fried fluffy good shrimp on your toasted buttery bun. And don't be stingy with it. Don't do not be stingy. Put some shrimp on that bun. It's Friday. We want some seafood. Put some shrimp on that bun. Pack it up. Now you know what time it is, that slaw that you made earlier, sprinkle that on there, sprinkle it right over that, right over that shrimp. Let that coleslaw seasoning, let that coleslaw flavor just fall right up on that shrimp. It's just, it's going to marry together, it's a, it's a beautiful marriage, it's going to be a beautiful marriage. And here you go. Don't drew too hard. Please don't drew too hard. You got some extra coleslaw right there. You got some seasoned curly fries. Get your lemon right. You got some fillets on the side that you done fried up. You got this beautiful shrimp. Oh boy which is the star of the show. Basically, at this point, what you have is a seafood show down. Pour you a nice glass of whatever. Find you a nice little movie on Netflix and enjoy. And as always, family, I thank you guys for watching. Everyone, have a blessed one.